We are joined today by former governor and former Senator Lowell Weicker. Governor Weicker, we continue our conversation. Now let's talk about um, Senator Chris Dodd. His approval rating has now fallen to 33%. Do you think he should run again? He's saying I think, he will. I, I think Chris should do what Chris wants to go ahead and do. And I want to say something because I have a rather strange history in this matter in the sense that I beat his father mm -hmm. to get into the United States Senate. Um, and I made some derogatory comments during the course of that campaign uh, and I, I don't think they were called for. Uh, his father served this country well, as you recall, being the assistant at the Nuremberg trials and served also in the Senate. He had some personal difficulties which impacted on his, on his Senate uh, career. But I think the judgment was very harsh on his father. Now we move to Chris. And I've known Chris uh, ever since he was a member of the House and then came into the Senate. He's a fine person. I like him. Uh, I suppose people can pick apart portions of his career as they now are doing and as people used to do with me. But has he got his heart 100% with the state? Yes. Do I think he has a very balanced point of view on issues? Yes. So regardless of whatever difficulties are being placed at his door, uh, I'm not backing away from him as a friend. He's a good man. Would you vote for him? Of course I would. Uh, do you see any similarities between 1970 and 2010 in terms of, I mean, his father was facing some political trouble uh, toward the end of his term? Yeah, yeah but that was more brought around, I think, by personal matters. Of, um, uh, I don't see any similarity. I think, uh, you know, the, the, the two of them have had a dedication to the state and to the nation. Uh, I'm not sitting here as a judge as to the criticisms that are being brought against Chris. I can only speak as I know Chris in the, term, in the, in the period of time that I served with him. And there's, there's much in the way of the uh, uh, Maternity Leave Act and his activism on behalf of, of women and health issues, et cetera. You asked me the question, would I vote for him? Yes, yes, yes I would. And uh, I know the country is in a very tough economic shape right now, but I don't think you can lay that at his door. You can say, okay, well, he could have done this or he could have done that. That's fair enough. But let's face it, the reason why we're in the hole we're in, you can't go ahead and wage a $1 trillion war in Iraq, not pay for it, and not expect to have some sort of a cataclysmic financial event at the other end, which is what we're in the middle of right now. Some of Senator Dodd's critics, in fact, some of the men who, uh, who are running against him right now, say that uh, he wasn't keeping an eye on the banking crisis as, as it started to percolate. Instead, he was out in Iowa running for president. Looking back on that, do you think that was a mistake? Well, I'm sure if he knew where things were going to eventually end up, he probably wouldn't have been in Iowa. Uh, was I proud of the fact he ran for president? Yes, as a matter of fact, I think he was really one of the best candidates out there in, in, in his run. He gets a lot of credit for sort of derailing Hillary Clinton's campaign at the very well, yeah, beginning well, he, in November of 2007 uh, uh, when he brought up the driver's license issue. Well, I think that... I think he ran a good campaign, but uh, obviously the Democratic electorate was focused on either Clinton or Obama. And we ended up with Obama, and God bless, I think he's going to be a great president of, of the United States. But, uh, so, I, and, and neither would I deny Chris the right to run for president. I say, I ran very briefly, except I found out very quickly that Ronald Reagan was going to get the nomination, and I got the hell out before, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I got run into the ground. So, uh, I think he, Chris is going to have to face up to the criticisms that are emanating on, on a variety of fronts. And I think he's got the, both the spunk and the, uh, the intelligence to, to answer his critics, but only he can go ahead and do that. Uh, I, I, am, I have to say to you, though, I, in terms of what he's contributed to his nation, I'm very proud of the man. I am. Uh, there are some Democrats who would like to see Ned Lamont challenge him. If Ned Lamont were to challenge Chris Dodd, who would you support? Well, that would be a really tough thing for me to say. I wish Ned Lamont would... Well, he already challenged Lieberman and beat him, so I suppose there's... I'd love to see that happen again, but... Uh, 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 
No, I, I think that uh, that would be a very difficult scenario. Ned is a real political, I think, treasure. When you, do you realize what that man did? That man single-handedly made the Democratic Party nationally pay attention to the war issue up to the up to the point of Ned Lamont against Lieberman the Democrats wouldn't touch the war after he beat Lieberman on the issue of the war Democrats across the country said hey maybe we ought to do this well they did and that's what won them the midterm elections and then later the presidential election do you think Ned Lamont could beat Chris Dunn in a primary no I first of all I don't think he'd run against him